too exhumed, too impervious, too too very difficult to get more than four rares in a single run, and we skipped a lot. That we could do better than that watcher run in terms of sheer ridiculousness, but we can always try. And what better way to start out a ridiculous run than with a transform two? Or something we need to think of uh, doing a bit more is swapping the starter relic for a boss relic on Ironclad. But I do love this transform two star. Let's do it. Fighting guardians, so I'll transform two strikes. Let's see what we get here. Corruption and cleave. That's a pretty good start. Cleave is much better than strike. And well, corruption is one of the most abusable cards on the class. Having won this early means we have all run to find interactions that go with corruption, two or three cost skills, powers that interact with exhaust, you name it. Now, the downside is the corruption's a little bit clunky to start, not doing us a whole lot of favors immediately. But that's not to say it won't be good soon. Go to a shop this act. I'm not sure that we do. I don't think we need to. I don't really have that many good removals. So why don't we snag an upgrade here? If we're strong enough, we can fight the Burning Elite. If we're not, just give you more upgrades. And we can fight two late elites. Any elite after the mid-act chest, I like to call a late elite. And they are easier to kill because you have an extra relic. We preemptively take Chemex now. I want the Chemical X. Alright, so let's ignore the corruption. Just play Cleave, Defend, Defend. We're also allowed to, since we lost some max health and we start at full health, we're allowed to tank some damage in each fight if need be. Although need not be. Score a Speed Potion and a Battle Trance. Well, I'm not going to say no to Battle Trance, especially not with corruption here. The more card draw, the better, as far as I'm concerned, when all your skills are free. Infernal Blade's also a kind of interesting one to uh, take with the corruption. It's a skill that makes an attack. Neat. Goal! Well, maybe we can go here, actually. We'll see. I'll take some money. We're at full health. We can get some of that health back if we do the combats really well. Uh, and more money is always good later on. Could also get a shop in a question mark room, always a possibility. Cleave strikes again, or strike cleaves again. Hmm. Guaranteed 17 next turn with bash strike, which means this is lethal. We heal six. Smells like free money to me. Excellent. I've said it before and it bears repeating every time. There's no such thing as too many copies of Shrug It Off when you have Corruption. This becomes a zero cost draw one. I also really like the Flame Barrier as a two cost skill. It pairs nicely with Corruption, making it free and blocks for a whole heck of a lot. It's going to Mal Evolving Monkey. I was in Edmonton and Jasper this last week and a half at the most wonderful time. Flame Barrier's blue. Ooh, potions are blue. I want to fight a Burning Elite. Looking at three potions makes that a lot more viable now, doesn't it? What do you got, lady? <laughs> Massively rewarded. What? Amazing? Give me that. Yunk. Glug. Blame it on the juice. Well, hello there. Fruit Juice Mastery. Or something. In case there was any doubt at all that Ironclad was juicing. Could play the Corruption here, or I can go Strike Flame Barrier. I want to say in this fight we go Strike Flame Barrier. 17 is a good number to be at. Full health, which is now 78. What a, what a start to a run. Flex Body Slam Wild Strike. Body Slam is kind of nice with Corruption. A little bit early for it. I'd say if we take Body Slam, we kind of need to not 
go to the Burning Elite. Or, or rather, we, sh we should not take the Burning Elite if we take the Body Slam. Um, I'm not going to take Wild Strike. Don't even think about it. Flex? Mediocre. So are we even good enough to beat a Burning Elite? I don't think we are. We didn't get a high damage attack or anything like that, which to me says, take the Body Slam. And uh, let's go. Let's go on the green path, that is. Let's also go this way. Speed Potion makes that acceptable. Hmm. Gets me another really early relic. I kind of dig it. Okay. I'll take the Body Slam and go to the store. Let's do it. It is Gremlin Knob. Do draw Corruption turn one. Feels important to play. Missing two strikes hurts, but overall this fight should be good here. By playing the Corruption, we can ensure that our skills don't get redrawn, at least the ones we don't want to redraw. And we can use the Speed Potion with the Defends if need be for a really big Body Slam, uh, if we're lucky here, and it looks like we might be. Just don't bottom deck the Body Slam, please. Good. Not getting the third defend also hurts, but it's not that bad. <clears throat> so if I speed potion, defend, defend, body slam's gonna hit for 30 after a bash. We could use both potions, do pot the body slam for 30 twice, and that lines up a kill for next turn while also full blocking this turn. That seems pretty reasonable, doesn't it? Um, as we're currently gonna bring Let's just do this. So currently we bring Knob to 52. That's not viable. Good fight. We get a Lantern for energy on turn one. Uh, and we're through. Note that that probably wouldn't have worked here. If that was a max health Gremlin Knob, we absolutely would have got slapped for 37 there. And there's the Feel No Pain. That didn't take long. Cool. What a run. What an absolutely ridiculous well... <laughs> do we do it? Hmm. It's not worth buying, surely. Surely not. However, what about the Abacus? We have not mastered Corruption. We have not won a run with two copies of this card. I, I really don't want two copies going into Guardian. I'm going to be really honest there. But the Abacus gives us six block whenever you shuffle the draw pile. The fewer cards you have in your deck, better yet, the fewer permanent cards, cards that don't exhaust, the more abusable this is. And currently the deck only has six cards that stick around after the corruption's been played. Three strikes, cleave, body slam, bash. We can very easily get that down to five or fewer. And from there, there's some possibilities for serious shenanigans. Is panache a thing with the corruption? It could be. You definitely can activate the panache somewhat reliably. But it is definitely hard to justify that expense. Yeah, the Abacus having synergy with Body Slam is what really makes it appeal here. There could be a a, a really powerful Body Slam uh, setup that we can get to. If we can remove a few more strikes, add a Pommel Strike Plus, uh, or another non-exhausting draw one or two effect, could do some serious stuff. Could add a Havoc, I don't want to. Destroying the Body Slam might be a lose condition for this deck. What we do want to do is upgrade the Body Slam so it becomes zero cost. I think that's our top priority. Other good upgrades include the Bash, the area damage on the Cleave. Um, we could even consider the additional block on Feel No Pain to be somewhat valuable. But I'm gonna start with the Body Slam. And we should hopefully get two more upgrades this act. We've got plenty of health, after all. The boot! That we would deal four less unblocked attack damage, up it to five. Pretty minimal uses for this. I definitely like having the option to take the Cursed Key as a boss relic. 
take the blue key here. Let's do it. Um, yeah, this way, right? Yeah. Surely we'll be fine. We're very likely to get a potion here. Please drop a potion, sir. Your pathetic attempts at damage will not sway me. Get an elixir, allowing us to exhaust any number of cards. How fitting. And there's a Dark Embrace. Oh my. We are off to the races, Twitch chat. With a Dark Embrace now, whenever a card is exhausted, we draw one. And the shenanigans are here. Let us observe as Lagavulin faces an abysmal fate. Truly a sad time for this creature. And I really appreciate this this moment in particular really makes me appreciate our new challenge here, our new challenge format with the uh, card mastery. Because now the question we can skip potentially past the question of will the run win, and now ask the question of what weird cards are we going to manage to cram into this deck while still managing to win? That's my favorite question. Hmm, I think we want to wait one more turn here. So not the draw we wanted. Clash! Haha! <laughs> Could be true. And we did draw the Battle Trance. How perfect. I'm not likely to be able to redraw that Body Slam. We want to go Bash Battle Trance Body Slam. Battle Trends puts a bit of a stop to our chicanery. That's okay. Excellent draw pile. Slay them all. Still have a few too many other cards, but that's all right. Wow, just utterly obliterated. <laughs> Look at that, it's more block. The captain's boat thingy gives us block on turn three. Dual wield is here to be obscenely broken. Oh my goodness, yes. Choose an attack or power card and make copies. Make copies of Dark Embrace, make copies of Feel No Pain, make copies of Body Slam. Do whatever the heck you want. It's all good. I think it's now a priority that we upgrade our powers so that they can be played either in duplicate um, or alongside each other. So upgrading probably Dark Embrace first, Corruption next. Don't even need Barricade, but believe you me, I'm going to click on it if I see it. Strongest Act 1 Ironclad you've ever seen. I don't know if I would give it that title, but, uh, oh yeah. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. We can just dual wield this booty slam. Heck yeah. Full blocks. Don't have a. Actually, no, we got plenty of block. The captain's wheel is going to make the body slam bash bash just be super duper lethal. Incredible. Absolutely ridiculous. 36 damage. I didn't play any block cards. Holy heck. And more energy. Nothing but good relics. Nothing but good cards. We've barely taken any damage this act. There's the barricade. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha. 
What is this seed? Hello? Absolutely nonsensical. Truly obscene. Just incredible. How does the bot know whether cards have been mastered? The bot knows my run history. And my internet search history. So the bot is all-knowing. Hmm. It's actually a very bad hand. I guess it's fine to take a bunch of damage, but it is a little sad. Oh, what's the command? Uh, exclamation point mastered, and then the name of the card is the command. It simply knows. Contemplating using the elixir for block. It's actually not even that much block, so I don't think I will. Mash strike does 12, so I can kill this. Okay, let's just do that. Get a little block by duplicating barricade. Don't question it. You die. I'm not, not particularly worried about Guardian here. Actually, do want the energy separately on turn one, turn two. Drop kick. <laughs> I don't even think I need that. But uh, yeah, that that goes infinite like instantly with dual wield. Hmm. Again, I don't. I don't think I actually need it. Hmm. Smell you later, drop kick. Triplicate. Cheaper barricade. Very tempting. Hard to play all these cards. Do this. Might need to use the elixir during this fight for good results. Do I want to dual wield the Dark Embrace? Make my life nice and easy. I get bonked next turn if I do that, aren't I? Oh, we got barricade, so I can dual wield. Hmm. Let's do it this way. Dual wield Dark Embrace. Play one of them. Play barricade. This turn hurts a bit. I could use a potion to save health. I think we just take some damage. Got plenty of hit points, after all. Two more. Here we go. Go body slam, body slam, flame barrier. I can body slam, body slam, body slam, battle trance, body slam, body slam, body slam. So we could do another twice over of Guardian's health here on this turn. GG. Probably the impervious, but that's a pretty good corruption. Feed here to be obscene as well. But really, the, the impervious is just so good. I'm going to take that impervious. I don't think we're going to need any more max health, quite frankly. This deck is going to probably just slaughter the heart. <laughs> so let's let's take the, the big Blanc. And I'll keep the elixir loses with bot because block potion with body slam seems pretty good to me. And there it is. We can take the cursed key. 
with the blue key. Another option, actually take Runic Dome, because a deck like this, especially with Barricade, rarely cares what the enemy is doing at all. So Runic Dome could arguably be even better than the Cursed Key, because we'll get all the benefits of the extra energy, but without the loss of relics. And we have yet to actually win a run with Runic Dome, it sounds like. Okay, this is the perfect one. The deck that's so powerful, it doesn't care at all about what enemies are doing. It doesn't need to see a dang thing. Just give me more energy. And we're fighting Champ. Oh boy, Champ is going to have a really bad time. I'm not sure that I want to go for the Burning Elite. I like that there's a lot of upgrades in a shop on this side of the map here, as well as potentially the ability to fight several more Elites. Could get an early shop as well. We mostly want to remove cards, right? Strike remove, strike remove would be huge because of Abacus. So I'd like to go to um, two different stores for two removes. And that speaks again to going on the left side here. Leaving the Burning Elite for Act 3. Slack's time. Did you hear about the man who was fired from the trouser factory? Turns out he'd been slacking off. So it could be attacked for up to 18 here. Might as well play the Impervious then. Should have a much easier time getting the... Should have a much easier time getting the powers in play now that we have uh, more energy per turn to spend. In particular, dual-wielding Dark Embrace feels real nice to me. No attacking me. Ha! Beautiful. Burning Pack lets us exhaust a card in the deck or a status card and draw more things perfect in this kind of deck anything that says draw anything that says exhaust a card is good this is both take the swift pot over that block pot strange spoon interesting cards that exhaust and played would instead discard half the time there's definitely some interesting things you can do with strange spoon uh and corruption in particular allowing you to repeatedly use your skills for free, although in this case I think that's not necessarily what we want to do. You won't activate Feel No Pain or Dark Embrace if the Strange Spoon prevents a card from exhausting. I wonder if Discovery is any good. Have we mastered Discovery? Yes, I believe we have, actually. Definitely going to remove a strike here. I but aside from any hope of mastering it, I think it's just genuinely a good card here. And I can still afford a strike move at the next shop if I do it. So let's do it. I'll take a Discovery. Discovery can create additional copies of key powers. Can generate money with the uh, Hand of Greed. And more besides. Hmm. It's not an ideal turn one. All right. I'll use the Spit Potion here. That looks a bit better. Right, hence the Runic Dome. No to wounds. We'll mess with the deck too much. Skip the rest of this. Let's see, what are important upgrades right now? We want to upgrade Corruption and Dual Wield. 
and maybe feel no pain. We can get all three of those currently. Okay, if we take two elites, let's do it. Yeah, solid turn one, as they say. Birdner, ooh, not a solid turn one. Not a solid turn one at all, but if we skip our turn, can we still just crush the opponent? That's what I want to know. Look at that. A feel no pain courtesy of Discovery. They always attack for six on the first turn. Now they're each attacking for 11. Brutal. Seeing red. Kind of nice with uh, Dark Embrace. Don't want too many cards in this deck, but this can help us get it accelerated. Especially with the Corruption. It's plus two energy with uh, essentially no expense, allowing us to get more powers down in one turn. Let's do it. Grant and Chips, thanks for six months in the Prime Sub. We don't have a Mastery on Body Slam. I think second Body Slam will fit in better much later in this run. Not so now. Not so much now. And we get a card remove. Okay, maybe I don't need to go to that shop after all. Maybe it was wrong to, to uh, buy Discovery. Either way, let's lose another strike. Every strike we can lose is excellence. I think I'll keep the seeing red here and just take the presumably four damage. And let the nonsense begin. So nice to be able to play Barricade this turn alongside the Corruption. Really glad we got the uh, Barricade upgraded. Getting those little cost reductions here and there can make such a big difference in how many turns your deck takes to win a combat. Um, yeah, let's double this first. Sure. Oh wait, I've got a wound, right? Well, whatever. Who needs it? Do Voodoo for each curse of the deck, gain a strength. And our second flame barrier, which I will happily, happily click on. We should still have enough money for a card removal, right? It's 100 gold, yeah. And an elite drops a minimum of 25 gold, so this should be a fine path. Plus one damage on Body Slam. Hopper Renictome. An odd creature with a hunched back sprouting several tentacles. is scrounging through a pile of trash and debris. Can remove our blindness. Although Happy Flower is much less energy, and I think I'd prefer to give that one up. More rare cards means much higher chance this becomes the run that gets either double barricade or double corruption, or both. Are there any three or more cost block cards? No. I do not believe so. Not if you're uh, not confused, anyway. Give it to me. Triple the chance of finding rare cards which is already elevated in Elite Combat, so you will see a lot of rare cards from Elites. All right, this fight could be a little tricky if we don't get going next turn. Definitely gonna take some uh, health loss here. We don't know whether we're getting um, vulnerable or entangled by Slaver on this turn. But here we go, we've got Double Dark Embrace, Feel No Pain, Body Slam. This should be all we need. Definitely want to double this. Yep, seems like we've reached uh, the good place. Ah! 
See you later, suckers. Mercury Hourglass will do three damage at the start of each combat and probably not much else. Feed is here. Hm. So it was Evolve. This deck could appreciate an Evolve. I think we probably just want to keep skipping, though. Kaponski, thanks for 17 months of support. Second point of strength acquired. The Vajra stacks with the Duvo doll. Heck yeah. Let's keep getting these powers upgraded. Corruption, you need to be cheaper. Ooh, can't quite get the membership card, but oh, Exhume is certainly a good card. Second body slam again being offered to us. Double Exhume would be cool. And it's another rare card we want to get duplicates of. So I think our, our mastery goal on this run, as many ironclad rares as possible. Shame about the Membo card. I don't think I need anything else here. I don't want to get involved with Evolve. That's right. That's right. All right, make two copies instead of one, please. Book of Stabbing, the rematch. Discovery, if Discovery makes a zero cost power or attack, Dual Yield can make two free copies of it. Like so. Bonk. Oh, I can just exhume impervious? Heck yeah. Bonk. This is the last turn anyway. Have a taste of your own medicine, Book of Stabbing. Easy. Another rare card, 10 more max health. Double tap. It's a skill and it's a rare card, I'll take it. Rupture plus is kind of interesting to be offered, but we have no use for a rupture. Ancient potion could make a huge difference in the heart fight, so I'm gonna pick that up now and hold on to it. For as long as possible here. Look at that, again, having the energy to play all of the powers in one turn is so crucial here. Offering. Yes. Card draw. And more energy. Second seeing red, also a, a card we'd like to pick up on this run. But let's grab the first offering. This deck is truly ludicrous, huh? Sickeningly turbo. Champ is just going to have the worst time. We really don't care what Champ does. He'll attack us, debuff us. Might even get a, a bit of damage in, but... Oh boy. Is he in for a bad time momentarily? There's the dual wield Feel No Pain. How do I want to do this? Let's get a hit in. Well done, champ. Well done. Could have exhumed the dual wield. I didn't think about that, actually. So could for the body slam, I suppose. Doesn't matter, though. Does not matter one bit.
Not even sure I'm gonna play this offering. Yeah, just exhume the dual wield. Simplest way to win here. Boop. GG champ. You stinky. There's our second offering. Or we can grab a Fiend Fire or Immolate. Rare cards we don't have a copy of. Fiend Fire can be pretty good with the Feel No Pain and the Dark Embrace. Uh, pretty dangerous with Double Tap, though. Let's grab the uh, second offering here. Lock in the mastery of that. Weak Potion goes pretty well with the Ancient Potion going into Heart. I think I'm still going to keep this Elixir, though, considering how nice it is to be able to exhaust targeted cards. We are offered Empty Cage, which would let me dunk two more attacks. Strike and Cleave. That's a huge deal. Or we can take Calling Bell, getting three more Relics, as well as the Curse of the Bell. Giving us one point of strength. I think I'd much rather take the uh, card removals, though. We are going to be obscenely strong if we can get rid of the basic stuff and just rely on the body slam for damage once we get all the powers in play. Works really well in Act 3 in particular. I'm going to do it. This deck is all about the removes. Sorry, Cleave. Your time to go. Don't have one attack. We got two bash and body slam. And uh, dual wield if we need more. Definitely dependent on our ability to generate a block surplus, but I don't foresee that being an issue either. Most of the time. Take some events here. Eager to get uh, offered more relics and such. I wonder if we take Dead Branch this run. Probably just for the sheer lunacy of it. Cleave has left the building, I repeat. Cleave has left the building. I don't know if the remaining one is attacking, but probably not. Oh, it is. How rude. There's second body slam. Not upgraded, but uh, this is probably the time to grab it, just to make sure we have the second one. Let's do it. Let's do it. This is a pretty nightmarish fight normally with the... Rink Dome, but uh, I think we'll be just fine. With a series of draws. Barricade, though. <laughs> Lower the health of two of them, so I have more control over what dies next turn. They all buffed. Okay, so they're all attacking this turn. Terrifying. But I have an answer to that, too. Oh, my. He appeared to have gone to Wacky Town. Good times. Second feel no pain. Absolutely. Don't have to ask me twice. Probably don't want to play two offerings per fight. This thing is always debuffing us turn one. So dumb. Mm -hmm. 
Good lord. <laughs> Infernal Blade. Eh, adds a card that might be permanent. So it's it's not that desirable. Although it could be something we could seek to get two copies of. I don't think I will take this one. What did Inloth ask for? The happy flower we gave up. Inloth ate that flower. Definitely glad here that we took Dome over Curse Key. We get to pick up the Eternal Feather, healing us at rest sites. Now I just, I play all the offerings I draw. I don't even care anymore. Ooh, and we're offered Double Madnesses, which doesn't really help that much. But is a card we could just take two copies of. I think Madness will be an easy thing to master later on anyway. Since you can get them in a pair. This, this is not the run. We, we could take them, but we're not going to use them. Let's just lose the 4 max health. Although madnessing a power and then making a bajillion copies of it is kind of cool. Hmm. Discovery here. Oh. So you're telling me I can do this. Bonk. Squish. Get an Unchaku, more energy, mm, good stuff. There it is, the second barricade. Or I can take Entrench, which is obviously ridiculous too. But this is absolutely, positively the moment, the time, the place. Get that second barricade locked in. Let's do it. Not an optimal play by any means, but I love the progress towards our year-long, well, not year-long, our two words are mastery challenge here. It's good. Really good. Oh, you poor jaw worms. Hey, don't exhume the offering, though. That's a little bit too much. Actually, impressive how often Discovery makes that card. The Bludges. This is also a deck that could do very funny things with the Rampage, but not as funny as the Body Slam, which just, just plain does infinite damage. A Rampage cannot hope to compete. Red Skull. More strength if we're below half. Not that that's ever going to happen. Giant Head is uh, about to have a bad time. I had to guess. I'm just going to save up the block here. Giant Head gives us several turns to set up, which is way too many, considering what this deck is capable of. Dual-wield barricade. <laughs> Filthy. Another rare card appears. How many rare? How many rares? It's too many. Demon form. Not exactly it. Unlikely to get a second copy offered to us in time, and we really don't benefit from the strength, so I won't be clicking on this one. Already said no to wounds. I've already said no to many whirlwinds. I'm sure we'll have another double whirlwind run. We got to dual wield. Juggernaut. Let's do it. This maw never attacks you on turn one, so there's no risks to me here, thankfully. But next turn we'll need to block for 
30 if we want a full block. The highest damage this thing can do. We can't, unfortunately, actually achieve that. But it might also attack for five. Ow. It did not. The pain. Fortunately, there's a nice big heel headed our way next floor, so I shan't be too worried. We get a 15 hit point heal, right? Five times three. Okay, so don't play the offerings. This juggernaut's gonna kill pretty quick, after all. Good job, juggernaut. How's it going, Centineer? Hello. Looks like three skips to me. Bye. Two more upgrades. Double tap's pretty good. This needs to be upgraded. It's to be any use at all. Good. Yeah, never getting attacked by turn on turn one by this creature. Slim. That's all I need. That works too, almost. Boop. Another th fruit juice, the third fruit juice of the run, and another rare card, the second exhum. So we have two barricades, two offerings, and two exhums. Didn't get the second corruption yet. Still a chance, though. I will lose the elixir over the ancient potion, is that true? Yes. Sorry, elixir. Your time never arrived. The mastering. Okay, transient's a little difficult. Transient attacks for quite a bit each turn. Uh, so we have to have consistent output, not just a lot of output on one turn, unless we can do a thousand damage, which I guarantee you we can. This turn's easily handled because the body slam is plenty. Next turn, the transient has a base value of 50, not 47 after the hourglass. This is not the great draw though, unfortunately. We are definitely going to take a bit of a hit here. Yeah. 47 incoming damage, 31 block means we take 16. Ouch. Bit of a slow start here. This looks a bit better. Can't play Corruption and Barricade. I'm okay with that. There's another Barricade after all. So we take no damage on this turn, but if we can't replicate that turn, we'll be in trouble. Looks like we probably can. Pretty easily, actually. Give me the Impervious back. I'll play one of these. Should be sufficient. in the discard pile, so body slam, double tap, body slam, oh yeah, you're super dead, transient, Boop. absolutely destroyed, and there's another feel no pain, yoink, handsome, thanks for the mini raid, welcome, handsome and raider, you're in time for the exciting conclusion of what might be the most busted ironclad run of all time. Just a truly absurd run of Slay the Spire happening here. 
Guess I'll upgrade the double tap, but I don't think it matters one bit. Hello, Southern Stylist. Hello. And I can even dual wield Dark Embrace for this fight. Oh yeah. That's a winner. How many cards are we going to get mastery of here? All of them. Currently have two copies of Body Slam, Barricade, Offering, Big Zoom, and Field of Pain. And I, I bet we're going to get one more duplicate rare. That's my guess. Look at this. Take a little bit more damage this turn from Doning. Take five. And then we should be good. Without any further nonsense. Oh yeah. This is what you want to see. Everything in the deck is now free. GG. Slamming and jamming. Whoa. Bit of a stutter there. Do apologize. That's the mod, the spire, uh, the Twitch extension glitching out. Should have that fixed for next broadcast. Stutter anyway, not the extension necessarily. Let's see here. Um, What's in the discovery? Nothing impressive, unfortunately. I'll take the steering blow, though. That's fun. And we'll offering. It's another fight that we should be able to end with quite some decisiveness pretty quickly. Give myself the chance to do a wield uh, Dark Embrace while offering first, even though that's one less draw immediately, and it worked out. Let's now draw three with each exhausted card. This out of my hands. There's corruption. Good. Corruption barricade. Here we go. And the shenanigans have arrived. Looks like these birds get to leave with their lives. Grr. As they say. Maximum ethicality. GG. Absolute nonsense. Just absolute and utter nonsense. Two thump, two thump, two thump. A deep pulsing dread can be felt throughout the room. Is this the heart of the spire, the source of all these ironclad exhaust powers appearing in Act 1? Unexpectedly. What hot nonsense. What utter hot nonsense. Arkelite, did you hear about the ironclad who had to run behind a car for an hour? He was exhausted. Let's upgrade another field no pain. 
Not bothering to upgrade any of the cost reductions that are on skills like the Seeing Red or the Exhumes because the corruption overrides their cost anyway and makes them zero cost. All right, so we have no rares here other than the Fiend Fire. We do have orange pellets, though. I think I want to drink this, pick up a new potion. So orange pellets actually help me that much. Hmm. Second artifact potion should block weak, vuln, vuln weak frail, I believe. Yeah, it should block the weakness. If I remember my heart order correctly. It's actually a good question for the spreadsheet. Spreadsheet knows. Uh, orange pellet seems like the simpler answer. With the orange pellets, I can go for the other two potions. And that would let me upgrade offerings for more card draw. That's pretty good. Let's do that. And I can still take Rage, Metallicize, or Blind if I want. Or I can remove a, the Bash. I mean, who even really needs Bash, honestly? The answer is no one. No one needs Bash. All right, this, this Elite fight will be our last chance for a duplicate rare. They are very likely to drop a rare. Oh man, heck yeah. Am I willing to take damage though? I play this impervious. I play this impervious. Okay. Not bad. Did get double attack turn one, so that was good. And here is offering corruption. Perfect. Stupid things. Why not? Why not? Ultimate dark embracing. Draw a million cards. Beautiful. Unceasing top and a second impervious. Or a second burning pact. I think we have mastery on impervious. Nope. Apparently we don't. Well, let's cross it off the list then. So that's two impervious, two offering, two barricade, two exhume. Four duplicate rare cards. That's pretty sweet. Talk about some progress, and guess what? I drew dual wield dark embrace turn one. But wait. What does Discovery have? Exhume? Or Demon Form? Give me another Exhume. I don't need the Demon Form at all. After all. Let me just play all three of these. Don't play the Exhume, just keep that around for later. It should be fine. Perfect. This is a good upgrade potion. We upgrade the Feel No Pain and the Offering. That should be good enough.
Don't know what the heart's choosing to do on this turn, and quite frankly, I don't care. I'm gonna play the Body Slam, just get rid of the debuffs now. Actually, no, I'm gonna Battle Trance first. Apply the No-Draw debuff, then play Body Slam. And remove all the debuffs, including No-Draw, so we can keep drawing cards now. I think that's all she wrote for the heart. Poor thing. Just, just toast yourself. Nice and proper like. Hopefully you're multi-attacking me. Nah, we weren't. The shame. GG, Mr. Hart. Hey there. If you enjoyed that video, watch this one next. And before you go, join us on Twitch and watch live. I'm there five days a week playing Slay the Spire, answering questions, and chilling with the community. Click the link in the description to follow right now. Ta-ta for now.